I tell you, some days of this just ain't as easy as others. I was uh, uncovering all different sorts of sides of myself and smothering a bunch of the parts I like and picking at parts I didn't. Feeling wildly uninspired by myself today. So I just wore this old timey hat and this old timey shirt and these old timey pants and I got my pal here who always makes me feel pretty cool. I'm trying to be kind of quiet because my neighbors are having like a normal human uh, gathering. One of those human gatherings. You know the ones. I may even just go do the poem part sitting on this weird table because I don't know. I don't want to offend nobody. Spent plenty of time today offending myself. Just uh, taking issue with me today. I'm not sure what's up with that. Dressed a little masculine. The poems I found, I was working on a bunch of new poems and none of them were going into the right zone and blah blah. ET phone home. I just couldn't get it. Couldn't get my footing. So I found some old, very scribbly stuff that's barely decipherable. And I'm going to go with that, I guess. I guess we're going to move locations. I feel like we're kind of like in their party here. I wanted you to see this like cute little zen bush. Because it's just such a cute zen bush. Look at it. Look at it in its cuteness and its zenness. It's got these little bursts of green. We're just uh, we're gonna change the scene. Let's change the scene. Don't worry, you're still kind of with me. We're still kind of in the same jive together. Ish. Right? Sure, sure. This is great. We're great. We're going topsy turbs. Sure. Hey, why not? We'll sit on a tabletop. We'll be away from the normalish, normalish human conversation. We don't want to mess that up for them. I'm being like, what words did I just hear in the background, dear? Why, I don't know, honey. I can't repeat them. So, just brought my little vintage suitcase and my weird old-timey hat. I got some trees making me feel like less of a sap. <laughs> but I'm ching. We plucked this lavender today and that made me feel pretty swell, I must say. Just tuck that in your hat. You'll be smelling Mighty fine. What I bring, what I bring, what I bring, what I bring. Is this falling apart? Hmm. That kind of breaks my heart. Sort of holding on by a thread there. Hmm. What a bummer. So I practiced this, you know, for safety and such. It it is workable. I guess I'll move the other stuff. I'll I'll be extra cautious. <coughs> hair out of the way. Nothing but the finest legal old man tobacco. Just kidding. Right. So you get it. I get it. We all get it. Those days where you don't really get along with yourself too swell. I guess that didn't work as well as I wanted it to. It's fitting. It's very fitting. Let me try it one more time. 
I burnt my tongue a little, as you may well see. I was feeling like a badass version of me, like, yeah, I can I can squelch that match with my with my own tongue. It wasn't fun. It wasn't a bit enjoyable. But here we are. What else is in here? So, what should you bring with you on such a journey where you're feeling like, who the heck is that looking back at me? Is that a gadget? Is that a device? Is it the sky? Is it mean? Is it nice? So, brought along this little guy. I've shown you him before, but I don't think he's ever quite danced the way he's supposed to. He's a little dancing bug inside of a nutshell. That's life in a nutshell. Yeah, he's going crazy with it. Hey, bud, you're a cutie. You're good. One finger hat, care of an acorn. She always have one around. A finger beaver. Mm hmm. Best believe it. Finger beaving it. Teal just couldn't figure out who to be today. What was the song I was singing inside? I don't know. I made up some song about how I was annoyed with myself. The sky is like flaming red, orange. There's got to be a fire somewhere. It's downright hazy. The smoke. I can feel it in my beaver teeth. Usually get made fun of a lot by the cool girls. They called me beaver and a rabbit, and they drew pictures of me as such, because I had buck teeth. But I like beavers and rabbits, so I never much minded. Compass, which I admit I've forgotten how to use. Guess it doesn't do me a whole lot of good in that way, but it's always good to have one. So I just dug up some stuff, and I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm going to be real with you. Oh, and of course, I already have a mirror pointing that way. So then if you have a mirror pointing the other way, then I guess you can communicate with aliens or grandparents or whoever you wish, whoever you fancy a visit with. So, um, sure, why not? Let's, let's be totally vulnerably uncool and unhot and put on the spot. And not knowing what thoughts to put out. I'll just be that. I'll just agree to disagree with myself and tell you I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> but I pulled out some stuff and what makes it interesting is it's extremely difficult to read. So those are always fun where I'm like, you know, this is a challenge in so much as it's very hard to decipher. So, um, I was saying the thing about masculinity. I just often wonder about what that must be like to not have to carry huge steamer trunks full of vulnerability everywhere you go. And just kind of be like, yo, I'm a dude, I'm here. That would be different. My tongue feels better already. Thanks for asking. It really does. I'm good now. Took a little risk. Went a little crazy. Went a little evil camibo on ya. I'm good. So, um, tricky to read. Tricky to read. That's the feed here. That's what makes it extra special. Extra special poetry. Um, I have no idea what this one is called. Uh, I guess, I guess this would be the title. There are two band names. I know that. I often, I find Honestly, hundreds, hundreds of scraps of paper with bands and song titles scribbled. Um, just wherever I go, I hear something, I'm like, do you know what that song is? And I've always fought technology. So for, you know, a good, a good decade, it was just scraps of paper. And then I still kind of default to that, even after the inescapable pull of the, of the gigas and the Digis and the Megas and the <laughs> Terra and the Bites and the might of it all. Can't fight it. Can't fight it. 
So I guess it's called The Ruffians, The Local Natives. Those are both bands, just so you know, that made this feeling. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Trying to follow a single thought is calculus for me right now. If you know, then you know. Um, what I was saying is, these are about unrequited feelings, heavy feelings, and nude modeling. I love that I am a figure model, that I am an art model. I would say it saved my confidence and my um, ability to see my own beauty, which didn't exist before it. Uh, I've, I've let you in on some stories, but I used to pluck my body hairs with like a tweezer, pluck them, pluck them all, pluck them all crazily, and had money saved in envelopes for like various surgeries I thought I might need, such as laser vein removal, such as perfecting the human canvas that I've been given. It was all very obsessive. And then I discovered art modeling, figure modeling. I like that in that community, you're not supposed to say naked, you say nude, because it's art people. And it really did, it changed my life uh, forever. I'll always do it, probably. Uh, it just, it snaps me back into myself, but that doesn't mean that there aren't bad nights and bad days. And when I was doing it in LA, it was mostly wondrous. And the group that I worked for was mostly wondrous. Well, I would say the, the, the woman who got me my jobs and in the position I was, but other models, the competitiveness that just exists, like the beating heart of Los Angeles, um, really got in my craw and in my bra and messed with me in a pretty bad way. And I have a lot of stories from it. Um, yeah, it's kind of a land where you can't avoid, um, you can't avoid the void. You can't avoid the... Is there like a bad fire or something? Oh, get this guy. I'll distract him. It's a good dog, it's a good dog. Good call. Wow, this is a very dramatic video indeed. So there's a deer in our backyard right now and we've had multiple incidents with the deer getting defensive with our pup. So that was a, that was a smooth one. Whew. Yikes. The deer um, kind of live here now, and it's sort of a battle sometimes, and we're not the types to like yell at them or try to scare them off, but at the same time, they don't like our dog, and our dog doesn't like them, so it's tricky. Tricky just like reading this handwriting. Tricky just like getting nude in front of people you don't know. So yeah, it was, it's, a, it's been a great learning, spiritual, professional experience in my life, but that doesn't mean that there haven't been bizarre emotions tethered to it and certain days and evenings where I was like, whoa, I'm doing this? <laughs> this is really intense up on some like 40th story of a crazy glass building for a tech art school or deep in the valley with a guy who did airbrushing for Mattel or, uh, I mean, I'm, these aren't bad experiences I'm just listing. These are just in t intense, like varied experiences. The undulation of it, the unpredictability of it was pretty thrilling, pretty crazy and pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I never saw myself as truly beautiful or um, artful or worth looking at before I found that world. Um, I saw myself as art and went, oh, whoa, okay, yeah. <laughs> and it all kind of changed for me. Um, but yeah, but there were, there were dark nights of the soul in there as well, as you can imagine, because it's, um, again, those steamer trunks of vulnerability. People don't really unpack that kind of thing very often. And I did, uh, you know three to five nights a week. So, at times, at peak times, there would be times when there would be nothing and I would be like, please let someone find me to be artsy in front of them and to sprinkle some musery, some muse juice, some amuse boost, 
some Muse Bush Muse juice. Muse juice. Everybody's drinking it. Okay, so whatever. I'm avoiding my words because I'm weirded out by my whole deal today. I'm like, deal. What are you doing? Who are you? What's up? What's in the bag? What's in, what's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> what's in the case, Ace? That was a good one. What's in the case, Ace? Lighter. <laughs> okay. I'll stop avoiding myself. Here's me. I'm Teal. I lived in LA. Here's some th stuff that happened. The ruffians, the local natives. Bad coffee, handy snack, and an apple. Oh, the many needs of the human body. I'm completely fucking exposed for you here, people. The degraded human masses echo in me just as I come close to sleep. The way to a fenced-in settling place. Womb heavy with overpopulating fairy tale longings. Her sighs filled the whole stark room. Is it that you're having trouble capturing the essence of my left tit, or are you just miserable over your lost youth and curvature? Curating. Curation. Curvature curation. <laughs> curvature curation. Pretty curves, never pretty enough. How I hate to stretch in a room full of other girls. Leave me at the mermaid waterfalls. I want Disneyland all to myself. Public vomit coming down to beautiful clouds. City splatter. I miss yesterday's thoughts. Fucked tooth beaver. Fucked tooth beaver. Love that line. Fucked tooth beaver. The saddest guppy black-eyed basset hound beckons me from the stark white cabinet. Fantasy names for pets and children. You have a straight shot of my pubic hair. Gold rings on the good one's left fingers. A man with a home smell that lingers on me. That's what I crave. Among everything and everything. He seemed like a man off the street way way off the beat and then i tried for like an hour to decipher what this says still don't know we'll be the rock dude croy croiky a voice a voice Ooh, a bug just came right for my eyelash just vicious minuscule attacker Whew. rude a voice will be the rock, dude. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you know. You know how it is. You know. You know how it is. Johnny come lately, shapely, unsatisfied thighs. Me oh my's and whoopsie daisies. Flowers grown with moon blood. <laughs> Flowers grown with moon blood. Their tainted saints ability. Saints abilities, you guys. Come on. I don't know who I just became. Saints abilities? Their tainted sensibilities slid down the mountain with the sun. Their tainted sensibilities slid down the mountain with the sun. What fun. So you like, try reading that. Come on, just try. Cool. The back of this is about Nemesis, the goddess of retribution. Did not know that. How cool. Whoa. This is crazy. Did not know this was on here. Woohoo! You control the scales in your hand. Be gracious, blessed dealer of justice. Nemesis, winged balancer of life. Nemesis, the deathless goddess we sing. Victory with slender wings, all powerful, infallible, and the assistant to justice. You who in displeasure at the pride of men carry it down into Tartarus. Whoa. You who in displeasure at the pride of men carry it down into Tartarus. That was crazy. That is from Mesomedes, 2nd century CE. Nemesis, winged balancer of life, dark-faced goddess, daughter of justice. You who restrain with 
adamantine bridles, adamant, adamantine bridles, the frivolous insolence of mortals, the frivolous insolence of mortals, and spurning the destructive violence of mankind drive out black envy. Beneath your unceasing traceless orbit is spun the grave fortune of man, and unnoticed you walk in his tracks, you bend the neck that is proud. Beneath your arm you ever measure out life, and ever do you lower your eye to your bosom as you control the scales in your hand. See there, I started at the end and ended at the start. My battery says it's low. Get out of here. Get out of here with that. Bull. Baloney. <clears throat> this one's called Strung Out on Sponge Squeezing of Self. Strung Out on Sponge Squeezing of Self. Cheese burnt to my legs. He likened his wang to a sweet potato. True story. Everyone was watching. Just an immediate transference of the day. Never feel sexier than when I... Dot, dot, dot. He chimes in. Get creamed. Okay, so it's not my fault. This is terrible, right? I'm a fiend for this shiz. Let me off the hook here. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. I'm still playing nice even when I'm begging. Fuck foreboding, man. Can the death trap act? All kinds of tight in the chest department. Droves of dudes in phallic ties up in some high rise in your right ventricle. Even if it's a tentacle, I need something to soothe me down here. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. She sees I'm stressing, so she stresses it. Move your, your. Oh, so she stresses it. Move. You're keeping score, or am I? Pie on the windowsill? Check. Neglect on a tall limbo scale? Yes. Check. Suppressed is this best me I can be, I keep mentioning. Put me in detention for sick on love pups and give us big ups when we start nonchalantin' like we don't give no fuck with the rest of the sucked dry drones and the likes. Yikes, I sure am sounding like one of them. Send for a long stem rose-shaped hot air balloon to come down close, make you swoon, and carry you far, all souped up dreamy like lightning bugs in a wishing jar. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the other one that said kitty and skip the others, because it says I have a little battery, whatever, we'll save them. It's called Mercy Boon, Mercy Boon, Pout Mouth. Pulling on hash hits, it's sweet suffocate, su sweet suffocating succotash. Pulling on hash hits, it's sweet suffocating succotash. Seduce, deducing laser flash, brain puree. Let a stray dog gone by the autumnal hymnal chiming. For one and one and one is three. Kiss my blood bursting bruised knee. Cranially speaking, this chakra has some explaining to do. Hullabaloo, just. A jaunt and a few old haunts and down about a block or two. Bring the bright mel bring the bright colored melon baller, marshmallow maker, up upper, down her, chop her, make her a quick thick fruit salad bar, second to none, puns upon spun spats close to lies, no more bu buys, damn it. You're letting in flies who just spit up upon me. Swank thing on the cool side of town, way to get downs to put other people that way. Dark well, rope bucket. Get him deep in enough to palm a load of your wishes. Get me in stitches laughing afternoonses. Cartoonses is blaring. Staring down all your ugly bits even. And believing, lapping up on them like kitty to cream. Seems better than any possible pill, prick, or pull of smoke. No spinning joke. Okay, I'm going to call it because I don't want my phone to die because... Everything's like a robotic. Whoa! Okay, so we just got on film. That was some Charlie Chaplin. Seriously dangerous. Um, could have gotten completely hurt and didn't. So, okay, that was terrifying. And that's my show, folks. Completely terrifying. End to the show. 
What do you know?